At the bustling port of Yunnan District in Shenzhen, China, customs officials face the relentless task of inspecting thousands of cargo containers every day. Most carry common goods like electronics, clothing, or food products, but occasionally something far more sinister is uncovered. One particular shipment raised immediate suspicion due to its unusual route and lack of documentation. Experienced officials know that such irregularities often signal attempts to bypass legal channels, triggering a full investigation. What they found inside this container would not only shock them, but also highlight the global threat facing one of the world's most trafficked animals. The shipping manifest claimed the container was empty, but the customs team at Dopang Customs, an elite anti-smuggling unit, had seen this tactic before. Empty containers don't normally require this level of secrecy. Armed with bolt cutters, they pried open the container. What greeted them was not the nothingness they were expecting, but stacks of blue and red striped sacks. A seemingly harmless load of coal was uncovered inside these sacks, a commodity that normally wouldn't attract much attention. But this discovery only deepened the mystery. Why would anyone go to such lengths to hide coal? The customs officers suspected the coal was just a cover for something far more valuable and potentially illegal. This was the start of an investigation that would take months and reveal the horrifying truth behind the container's cargo. Before diving deeper into this investigation, it's essential to understand the significance of what they found. Pangolins are unique creatures. Often compared to armadillos, these small mammals are covered in protective scales made of keratin, the same material found in human fingernails. These scales are their first and last line of defense against predators. When threatened, Pangolins curl up into a tight ball, making them nearly impenetrable to natural predators. Unfortunately, this same defense mechanism makes them easy targets for poachers. Native to Asia and Africa, pangolins play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of their ecosystems. As natural pest controllers, they consume vast amounts of ants and termites, helping prevent the overpopulation of these insects. Without pangolins, ecosystems can become imbalanced, leading to crop destruction and soil degradation. Yet despite their importance, pangolins are the most trafficked mammals in the world. Their scales are highly sought after in traditional Chinese medicine, where they are believed, without scientific basis, to have medicinal properties. This demand has led to the brutal poaching of pangolins, pushing many species to the brink of extinction. The illegal wildlife trade is a multi-billion dollar industry and pangolins are among its most tragic victims. Smugglers operate through vast, secretive networks, trafficking animals and their parts across international borders. The scales and meat of the pangolin fetch high prices on the black market, and demand is only growing despite increased enforcement efforts. This particular case was about to become one of the largest pangolin trafficking busts in Chinese history. Inside the bags of coal, customs officials began to notice a strong, unpleasant smell. This odor signaled something organic was decaying, and as they dug deeper into the container, their suspicions were confirmed. Beneath the coal lay the true cargo, pangolin scales, 13.1 tons of them to be exact. To put that into perspective, 13.1 tons of pangolin scales likely meant the poaching of around 30,000 individual pangolins. This staggering number underscored the scale of the illegal trade where wildlife traffickers ruthlessly exploit endangered species for profit. What made this particular discovery even more significant was that it represented the largest seizure of pangolin products in China's history. As officials carefully cataloged the scales, the grim reality of this crime began to sink in. These pangolins had been slaughtered for their scales, stripped of their natural protection, and killed for a market that perpetuates myths about the medicinal properties of animal parts. This discovery highlighted the urgent need for stronger enforcement and greater global cooperation in the fight against wildlife crime. As the investigation unfolded, authorities began to piece together the smuggling network responsible for this heinous crime. Smugglers often operate through intricate, multi-layered networks that span continents. In this case, the pangolin scales were traced back to Africa, where poachers had harvested them before shipping them to Asia, destined for illegal markets in China. The shipping manifest held a crucial clue, a single name, Shihua. 
This simple piece of information would become the key to unraveling the smuggling operation. Investigators worked tirelessly, reaching out to international partners and experts in wildlife crime. They knew that bringing the perpetrators to justice would require meticulous detective work and potentially a bit of luck. Months into the investigation, authorities zeroed in on two individuals, he and Lee, both notorious for their involvement in wildlife smuggling. Lee was known for his role in transportation, while he managed sales and customer relations. Together, they had orchestrated a massive operation that generated nearly $758,000 in profits from the illegal pangolin trade. The breakthrough came when investigators discovered incriminating photos on Lee's phone, tying him directly to the smuggling operation. Lee denied any involvement, claiming the phone had been purchased secondhand, but a small birthmark visible in one of the photos linked him to the crime scene. This detail became the smoking gun that allowed authorities to make their case. The arrest of he and Lee was a significant victory, but it was only one battle in the larger war against wildlife trafficking. Across the globe, law enforcement agencies, conservationists, and international organizations are working to crack down on the illegal wildlife trade. Initiatives like CITES, Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, aim to protect endangered species like the pangolin, but enforcement remains a critical challenge. Efforts to protect wildlife also require raising public awareness about the dangers of trafficking. In many parts of the world, cultural practices and misinformation continue to fuel demand for animal products. In the case of pangolins, traditional beliefs about the healing properties of their scales perpetuate the illegal trade, even though there is no scientific evidence to support these claims. Despite international efforts, pangolins remain critically endangered. Poaching continues unabated, and trafficking networks are becoming increasingly sophisticated. However, there is hope. Conservationists are working on the front lines to rescue and rehabilitate pangolins, while law enforcement agencies crack down on smuggling rings. To save the pangolin, global cooperation is crucial. Governments must impose stricter penalties for wildlife crimes, while NGOs and conservation groups work to educate communities about the importance of protecting these unique animals. Every pangolin saved is a step toward preserving biodiversity and maintaining the delicate balance of ecosystems. The discovery of 13.1 tons of pangolin scales at the Shenzhen port was a wake-up call for authorities in the world. It shed light on the devastating impact of the illegal wildlife trade and the urgent need for stronger protection measures. But it also offered a glimmer of hope. The arrest of He and Lee showed that with dedication, cooperation, and relentless effort, justice can be served. Yet the fight is far from over. Pangolins, like many other species, are still at risk, and the illegal wildlife trade continues to thrive in the shadows. The dream is to see these remarkable creatures thrive in their natural habitats, free from the threats of poaching and trafficking. For now, though, the battle continues. And with each step, the world moves closer to ensuring that wildlife, like the pangolin, is protected for future generations. <laughs>